In this video, I will be silently installing WinRAR. I will execute the installation as a system account to make sure that the installation is successful no matter what user I'm using to deploy the software. I'm starting this video from my GitHub page and that's because there are a few bits of information here that I will be using for this video. And I will leave the URL in the description down below. Also in the bottom of the page, you can find more of my videos that are related to this topic. For example, here is a video about PSExec if you are interested in the reasons why I'm using it. And then there are also videos about Windows registry because I will be using run once and active setup to run WinRAR once for each user on the computer. And I will explain why later in this video. And now I will begin this video by downloading WinRAR executable installation files. And for that, I will use the link that I have here. That brings me to the WinRAR download page and I will click on WinRAR English 64 bit. And then I will go to my downloads folder. And here I have my WinRAR installation executable file. And now I will right click on it, select copy, and I will go to my VMware workstation where I have a Windows virtual machine prepared. And here I have this software folder. I will open it and, and move the executable into this folder. Also in the same folder, I have my PSExec executable. The next step is to open a command line. So for that, I will go to my start menu, type in CMD, and I will run it as administrator. Now we want to change the location in our command line to the location where we have our executables. So for that, I will click here and copy the location. Then I will type CD, paste in the directory. And if I type there, I can see my executables in my command line. Also, if I use the command, who am I? It is saying that currently this command line is running under the user admin. Now to switch from the admin to the system account, I will be using psexec. So I will type psexec executable name, then I will add minus i for interactive, minus s to start a process under the system account, and then we need to provide the process that we want to launch. And to keep it simple, I will launch another CMD window. Then I will agree with the license terms, and here we have another CMD window, but this time if I type who am I, it is saying that this command line is currently running under the user and the authority system. So everything that I'm doing in this command line, I'm doing it as a system user. Now we want to change the directory once more to the location where we have our executable files. So for that, I will type CD, paste in the location and press enter. If I type there, I can see my executables once again in the command line. Now to start the WinRAR installation, I will go back to my GitHub page. And here I have the command that I will be using for WinRAR silent installation. And as you can see, I'm starting the command with cmdc. This is not necessary, but it allows us to see when the installation is done simply by looking at the command line. Then I'm providing the executable file name, and then I'm using a switch slash s. And this is the main switch that makes this installation a silent installation. So I will copy this line, go back to my VMWAR workstation, paste in the command to the command line and press enter. And as you can see, the installation is finished almost instantly. And if I go to my start menu, all apps, I can see that WinRAR is installed. I can launch it from the start menu. And also if I go to my control panel on install a program, we can see WinRAR in our installed program list. And it seems that the installation is successful, but currently there is one problem that we have after installing the program under the system user. And that is, if I right click on the folder, we should uh, have a menu option for WinRAR here, but we don't. And that's because we need to launch WinRAR once for this user and all the other users that are using WinRAR on this computer. We can launch it by going to start menu and clicking here, and then the option would appear here. But opening WinRAR for each user on the computer would be very annoying. So to solve this issue, I will go back to my GitHub page. And here I have a PowerShell command that will that is creating an active setup registry key. And as you can see, the registry key is named run winrar. After that, the PowerShell command is creating a registry entry stop path with this value right here. And the value in the stop path will be executed for each user once during the login process. Like I said, if you're interested on how everything works in more detail, you can check out the videos right here. Anyways, I will copy the command, go back to my VMware workstation, and I will open up the command line. 
and I will because that that's a PowerShell command. I will be switching from CMD to PowerShell by typing PowerShell in the CMD window, and I will paste in the command and press enter. As you can see, the command was executed successfully. We can double check by going to the registry editor, and for that I can type reg edit in the command line. Then let's go to local machine software Microsoft active setup installed components and here we have our registry key named run winrar and here is the registry entry stop path and like i said this value in the stop path will be executed for each user on the computer once during the login process and here we are creating a run once registry key and basically run once will execute uh, winrar well not execute it will start the winrar for that user that is logging in so i will close everything and let's see how it works i will sign out from my user and sign back in and as you can see the winrar has been executed for us and if i right click on the folder now we have the winrar option so we can create an archive for this folder and that's it for this video in the future videos i will show you how to deploy winrar using other software deployment tools such as group policy or pdq deploy so like and subscribe if you want to see that and see you in the next one